Good Friday evening, guys. I just want to show y'all something real quick. Look, so y'all see that little thing with the CD thing? So my mom had given me some boxes to go through. And I went through and I found one of those. And I was acting like it was like the weirdest thing ever. Somebody actually still uses it. I really think someone just put a Reese cup in there. Probably fell on a pirate hat. Oh, Looks good, it on. Look at that. <laughs> nice set. You don't like it? But we learned that they've already put out their Christmas stuff and this is about all that's left of Halloween. Makes me sad. Oh, look at this small dog, you be a little butter, little ladybug. Uh -uh. Look, we can make our dog a cat. That's fine. Thank you. Sorry, you don't need a cat. Swaggers. Swaggers. Swaggers is that kid that's, uh, <laughs> Embarrassed to be trying on stuff. In the yes, store. he makes that face too. All right, we're all done. Too cute to be spook. Too cute to spook. Someone's store went under. These are really nice though. Chewbacca's. Look, you want me Chewbacca? And I don't like Star Wars either. Yeah. He said nope. Nope. Good boy. You don't like Star Wars. Oh, this is the, the little, Ewok. The um. Man, yeah, the little bears. The little bear, that's what it was. Yeah. Oh, you're a girl. We and it's not that small. I don't know where he wants to go. This is cute. Smucker! I just wanted to see where he was actually trying to go. Is he looking outside? <laughs> he wants to leave. <laughs> he wants to leave. But that's cute. That's cute. Smucker, we're going this way. That's the bathroom. We're not going to the bathroom. Oh my goodness, the large part of it. Suckers! Suckers! Oh wow. Suckers! He keeps looking outside like someone's following him. <laughs> someone's you following. paranoid suckers? Hey dog, you can name him. Me? Yeah. Yeah, Woody Woodpecker. How'd you know? I know Woody Woodpecker. We're trying to look at beds for Christmas. But Byron was like, this bed is awesome. So he's trying to feel under it. This is actually part of it. It's like the pillow that comes with it. Yeah. Really? Byron's making him do trick. Oh, don't worry. I'll pick up the bed. So we had to leave Petco. Not we had to leave. We were done. And we were just kind of looking around at extra stuff. And Smuckers decided to take a poop on their ground. and Big poop. Big poop. I mean, I know we don't like Petco, but you know, we don't have to shit on him. <laughs> but Byron was nice and he went and picked it up and, um, you know, let them know and cleaned it. So he was a good guy. Oh, look at our cute little bundles we got at the Chinese place. Look at that. It looks so good. Pet peeve number 1000. I hate when there's no tissue paper for your hands. I also hate when you have to hold the blow dryer with one hand while the other hand dries. So we are at the ghost store. This is Roswell Joe's. In the middle of nowhere. Is there someone behind me? Oh, Draped across it, but very clearly an indentation at the foot of the bed where somebody had been sitting. Now, we saw that, and tour guide looked at it, and she said, Ugh, would you look at that? Something has been sitting on the bed again, and now I have to refluff the mattress. She was not at all scared, not at all surprised that something had been sitting on Moody's bed. She was just a little annoyed because it meant a little more tidying up she had to do around the place. Now, another ghost who has been spotted here is that of a young boy. He wears knickers that we would have in the mid-1800s. Some people have seen him playing on the lawn behind you, but most often he is spotted running up and down along this picket fence here to your right. It seems like he is most often seen by other children because they see him over there playing and they want to go play with him. And of course, when they mention it to adults, none of the adults have seen anybody over there. It's not here in Roswell. Or the X Files. Mm -hmm. um, Barrington Hall uh, was the home of the King family. Both uh, Roswell and his son Barrington, yes, the son and the house have the same name, uh, they both died in this home. Barrington died here after he was kicked in the chest by a horse. Mm. Roswell died here simply of old age. He was sitting in a chair reading a book. He fell asleep and he never woke up. Not a bad way to go. It's cool. 
Ooh, it's not cold. It actually feels really good. It's cold. My shoulders are cold. Her shoulders are cold. Mostly just my shoulders. I think that's the... There you go. I was trying to show my shoulders. Oh, Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> See if you can push that, uh, that, that heat stone off that. No! Oh, I'm leaving this man after this ghost story. Just letting y'all know that now. <laughs> There's some actual stones. It's cracked. It's cracked. He's trying to get out. The hand's going to come through there. Is that... <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember us telling you about them last year, but it's the Queen and King buildings, and they're purple and blue? Or is that white? It's like a bluish white. They're pretty.